there was a gentleman who lived in a very grand house. He married a young lady. The man had everything, but he wanted his wife to spin. But she didn't know how to spin. One day, she saw six ladies singing and spinning in a cave. She said to them, "I do not know how to spin, but my husband wants me to spin." The ladies told her to invite them to dinner when her husband came. They came and they all sat down to dinner. The husband, becoming familiar with them, said, "Ladies, why are your mouths turned away to one side? It's with our constant spin, spin, spinning." Said the ladies. The gentleman cried, "I'll not have my wife to spoil her bony face with spin, spin, spinning." And so the lady lived happily with her husband all the rest of her life. Lady Clare, Rome. Lady Clare was in her garden overlooking the sea. Approaching Lady Clare, a knight saluted her and asked her about her well-being. The lady said, "Please marry one of my three daughters. I will give you gold and ivory." The knight said, "They are of no use to me as I am a warrior. Do not call for thy vassals, for they are mine as well." Said the knight, "And do not be angry with me, for I have already kissed you." Then you are surely my brave lord," said Lady Clare. "But how will you prove yourself? By the golden ring with seven gems, which I divided with you when I left," answered the knight. "Here is my half. Where is yours, my daughters?" cried Lady Clare. The Islands of Flowers, Portugal. Long, long ago, there was a little angel who broke one of the rules of paradise. She was banished from her heavenly home. She filled her arms with the lovely blossoms of paradise. Slowly and sorrowfully, she left the heavenly gardens. Some of them fell down, down to earth. They floated. They came to rest on the smiling blue waters of the broad Atlantic. There were nine of the flowers of paradise, which the angel dropped. They have always remained in the blue Atlantic, where she left them. After many years, the Portuguese mariners found them. And Portugal claimed them as her own. She named them Azores. To this very day, however, one of the islands is called Flores, which means flowers. The Forest of Lilacs, France. When Blondine entered the forest for gathering the beautiful branches of lilacs, she became busily occupied for about an hour. She began to suffer from the heat and to feel great fatigue. She found the branches of lilacs heavy to carry and thought it was time to return to the palace. She looked around and saw herself surrounded with lilacs. She called Gormandinette, but no one replied. Blondine walked on rapidly for some time, but she could not find the boundaries of the forest. Many times she called anxiously upon Gormandinette, but he did not respond, and at last she became terribly frightened. What will my poor papa think when I do not return? All this is my fault because I left my carriage to gather lilacs. Unfortunate girl that I am! I shall die of hunger and thirst in this forest if wolves do not eat me up this night. Weeping bitterly, Blondine fell on the ground at the foot of a large tree. She wept for a long time. At last, her great fatigue mastered her grief. She placed her little head upon her bundle of lilacs and. slept peacefully thanks for watching do like share subscribe to sahil book house